Okay, I'm going to show you how to create a Google account. I'm going to transfer Mockford's website, documents, team training. I'm going to click on the getting started with Google Apps for team. Three methods or three options to create a Google account. One is to use an existing or use an existing Google email account. Second is to create a new one. Go ahead and click on this link here, accounts.google.com sign up. And if you're going to create a new email, Gmail account, you'll fill this all out. If you want to use an existing email, you type in your first and last name. Click on I prefer to use my current email. You type in your work email address and or your personal email address and continue on to fill out the account. Once you filled out the account, you are finished creating and confirming that you have a Google email account. Okay, after you've created and confirmed that you have a Google account, you can then join a TR Google group. You can go to transformrockford.org, hover over documents, go to team training, click on under getting started with Google Apps for TR, view document. And we're going to start with number two, request to be added to an assigned TR team. Make sure, as it says here, you have logged into Google first. And then click the below email link to request and join your TR team. So I'll go ahead and select one I know I'm not a part of here. I'm going to click on the TR sense, uh, place, sense of place segment. And I am logged in. And notice it says apply to join the TR Sense of Place segment group. Here's where you'll type in your display name if it hasn't already captured it. And I, if it's not already checked, I would check this link to my transfer micro profile if you have that. And then click apply to join this group. What's going to need to happen is it's going to send it to the team lead or co-lead or person managing the team to join, set a join request and they're going to accept it and then you'll get an email confirmation. If you do not get an email confirmation, uh, within 24 hours I would contact your team uh, lead or co-lead about it and if uh, they did not get a join request, uh, I would contact sue at transformrockford.org so we can manually add your Gmail, or your Google Gmail to the TR group. If you're already a part of a group and you click on this link, if you're part of a team group uh, in Google, this is what it'll look like. It'll come up saying TR communicate, whatever the TR team is your connecting to, it'll say membership settings. This is where you can change your display name, um, things of that nature. You can leave the group, save which name change you've made, or, end, or cancel. So that's how to join, request to join, a TR team. joined a TR Google group. Next thing is I'm going to show you how to manage using Google Drive documents. So again make sure you're logged in to Google. Um, if you're not it will prompt you to log in. So first thing you want to do is go to transformrockford.org 
and let's go to documents team folders and you're going to find the team that you're in I'm going to go ahead and click on communications team and select open and drive or if it's the first time you've done it add to drive will be here when it'll remember it thereafter it'll always be open and drive after you do it the first time I'm going to open and drive Once you log into this app page, if it does prompt you to, to log in, go ahead and log in with your Google credentials. Okay, within your uh, Google Drive, I need you to access the work in progress folder. We're going to do our testing in here. On the left side, click the new button, and we're going to do a Google Docs, which is a lot like Word. Click OK on the create in a shared folder prompt. Go ahead and type in your first and last name. Uh, tap up here where it says Untitled Document and just leave the title document this, your full name. Then after you have the title and your full name here, click the X in the tab and there you'll see that this document was created at 921. And anyone in Transform Mockford can read it. And then anyone within my group and TR staff can edit. To edit the same document, I can double click on it again. And type in a new line. Once you see saving, it says changes, and it says all changes saved in Drive, you can then exit out. Google email, send it. Back down to share. There's one I just added. I can change the rights or I can get rid of it. Make sure after you do anything, you click save here. So I'll show you how to create the file, edit, share, now delete. Right click on the file, select remove. You can also click on the file and select the trash can. Next I'll show you how to upload a Word document. I've already created one on my desktop. I'm going to click New, File Upload, Upload a Word document. And let's say I made a change on that Word document. Save it. Go to this Word document and let's preview the way it looks now. Right click on it again, manage versions. It says here, Drive keeps older versions of this document for 30 days. So I'm going to upload the newest version. There it is. There's this change one. And it might take a few moments to get the changes that you have in there. I would say wait a couple minutes and it will get the updated change. And from here on out, you can again right click manage versions and you can click and download or delete certain versions. Um, you can also select keep forever. If you uncheck this, it will delete it within 30 days. And then lastly, this time I'll select it and click the trash can. One warning on deletion, it doesn't give you a warning once you've clicked the delete button, it will delete it. But there is a trash here on the left where you can um, recover files, 